Today we're going to talk about how to import footage inside Premiere. And as you guys can see, we do actually have a timeline down here, but we don't have any clips we can actually put inside of it. Now in order to import footage, we could do it in a couple of different ways. We can either double click down at the project window down here on the left side, and then we can actually browse for clips we want to import. We can also go ahead and right click, click import, or you can simply find the footage somewhere in your computer, highlight it and drag it inside your project window. Now I do actually have two clips here. One is of a air show that I attended a couple of weeks ago and the other one is of my workplace. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drag them inside my project window. Once we have them in here, we can actually go ahead and drag it inside our timeline. Now, the thing about dragging footage inside the timeline is that when we set up our sequence, which is the actual timeline down here, we told it that we wanted it to be 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second. Now, in a lot of cases, when you try to drag footage inside your timeline, if that footage does not match those specifications, it's gonna ask you a question. So let's actually go ahead and drag one of the clips in here. Right now it says clip mismatch warning, which basically means that the footage does not match the timeline settings. So we have two options here. Either we can change the sequence settings, which means that the sequence will actually match up with the footage settings, or we can actually go ahead and take the footage and just simply put it in and be a mismatch to the sequence. Now, typically I choose to actually keep the existing settings, which means that the footage will not match the sequence because we want the footage to be the same as the sequence, which means we have to change the footage afterwards rather than changing the sequence settings. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, keep existing settings. Now, what you guys will notice, or maybe you can't see it because you haven't actually seen the clip yet, but part of the footage is actually missing on the side here because the resolution of this footage is 2560 by 1440. So the way we can change this is we can actually go ahead and click the footage and then you guys can see we get some options up in the effects controls and without having put any kind of effects on the footage, you will have some default things you can change in here. I'm gonna go ahead and go to motion and then I can actually change the size of my video clip and right now this should actually be, you know, 1080 or 1920 by 1080, which it is not. Right now it's 1440. So I'm gonna go ahead and scale it down to 75 from 100, which means that right now it's actually 1920 by 1080. So that's basically how we can import footage and drag it into the timeline and actually change the settings if we needed to. So as you guys can see, we do have it inside our preview window. We can actually play it. And as you guys can see, I'm just simply getting some, you know, just basic recording my, my workplace. And that's essentially how we import footage and use it. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.